I know that you do a lot of counseling. Are, is there any particular kink that comes up fairly often for you that people struggle with um, accepting or perhaps they want their partner to embrace that they're very resistant to? Do you see like a pattern at all? Yeah, most of the people that I get, they're struggling with sub submission surrender. That's really mm -hmm. it. They want to be able to let go and receive and don't know how to. Mm -hmm. And we see it. In, what did, go ahead. Uh, no, please finish your thought. Okay. Uh, and it manifests in many different ways. Some people have uh, the idea that they can step into dominance and they don't have to deal with submission. They have a control issue, an issue with controlling outcomes, controlling behaviors, controlling how they're interacted with and how they interact with others. They have an issue with control but it's not with control, it's with surrender. It's with allowing them to let go. And so even dominants have to deal with submission and surrender. Or we get people where the expectation is for them to surrender and they don't know how to let go. They don't know how to step into it for themselves because it's been pre-prescribed, pre-ordained that because you have breasts or vagina or because you identify as a, a female, that someone's supposed, you're supposed to let everyone do this to you. And so they build up walls and create dominance as a reason to not receive so that they don't betray their own kind, don't betray the feminist movement, don't betray whatever it is. But at the end of the day, they really want to let go. And so for me, allowing oneself to receive is the biggest fetish that I wind up coming into contact the most. Interesting. You, you also just mentioned something really interesting as well, is that, you know, people who consider themselves dominant or want to be, you know, a dom in that lifestyle have to also accept submission in some way. Could you expand on what you mean by that? Yeah, I, it's really interesting um, because power we interact with on a regular everyday basis, right? And really how dominance becomes the handle on this knife is, is that when you want to be responsible for other people in your, and you have power, that's really what dominance is about. And so for me, when you are willingly stepping into healthy dominance and a healthy relationship with power, you know how to receive um, criticism. You know how to receive affirmation. You know how to receive touch. You know how to receive um, pain and pleasure, right? We have to learn how to receive. Even listening authentically is a form of reception, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, helping bosses, CEOs, learn how to step into a place of reception, becoming a holistic person in regards to power is a really big thing. So for me, I think that everyone needs to learn how to surrender to either their responsibilities, their roles, their desires, their feelings, their sexuality. You have to learn how to surrender and let go. It's a very basic process that each and every person needs to have to learn. The way that most people come into contact with this is people who micromanage. If, <laughs> you know what I mean? If they micromanage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They give you a task and then they can't let go. So they have to monitor you at every step of the way. They don't know how to let go and stop holding on because that's what mm -hmm. surrender is really comprised of. Two things, letting go and not holding on, right? So for me, everybody from the basic manager to the CEO to the, the, the mom in the home, a helicopter mom, right? doesn't know how to let go and allow their children to have the experiences that they need to develop over time. Everyone needs to explore surrender to some degree because we're always in the power. We, in some cases, we're in a power play where we're guiding and leading other people, whether it's your children, whether it's your uh, parents who now, you're now taking care of, um, whether it's your job, whether it's your new company, we all have to step into it. And we all have to learn how to surrender. So you literally just described my life right now. Right now, I have a two-year-old toddler. Mm -hmm. I have aging parents who I'm taking care of. My dad is Parkinson's, eighty-one. He's just get back from the hospital. He's now wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. um, I have my job that I currently run, and I'm uh, now working as a partner on a startup. 
Um, <laughs> and literally you just described me. That was so weird. And I have to say, like, for me, what you're saying right now is so true because for me, um, acceptance is the answer is like the mantra that I kind of like bring into my life at all times because trying to, I've definitely had my bouts of trying to micromanage other people, trying to control the situation, being unable to let go um, of the results. And that is something that like, I have been working on so much because when you spend your life trying to control like external circumstances, Mm -hmm. you just set yourself up for failure all the time. And, And sometimes we just have to accept that like, we can only take the steps that we feel is right. We can only control what, how we react to things, what we do. And then everything else is like the universe is going to like take care of itself. And that is a hard lesson to learn. Very much, very much. And thank you for sharing that. I appreciate you sharing that with me and the audience. Um, yeah. So for me, it's really important to step in and help people with their relationship to power and for them to understand that we are both. Uh, masculine and feminine, we are both dominant and submissive. And we have to be able to utilize both polarities of power to our benefit. Because if we don't, it'll be to our detriment. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I have a program that's empowerment from the boardroom to the bedroom, because really power exists in both places and everywhere in between. And so I hope that people will step into this idea of letting go and not holding on. And understanding how to do that uh, successfully.